Hello, welcome back to Shadow Politics. Uh, we're trying to get to the Embassy, which is uh, to the north, and we've actually found two different ways in, not counting the front door, which I suppose is technically possible. Um, but we've been exploring the streets and looking for loot. Right now we're over here by the warehouses, and I'm going to try and head south again, and briefly try again to see... I know there's a window here that I can get into. Uh, I couldn't see where into before. There's a yard to this antique shop, and possibly this doorway or something I can break in as well. And I didn't find anything at the Priory. And surely there must be some loot at the Priory. Um, so, I'm going to explore city streets a little more. <coughs> excuse me. A little more before heading for the embassy. So, this is a dead end here with the warehouses. I think. Oh yeah, it is. It's completely dead end. How did I get here then? Hmm. Unless he's got any door there that I get through. I don't think so. Oh right, I came from up there. Alright, no problem. I should be able to get back there. With the help of a little rope. Oh, I wasn't sure I'd make that shot, but only just got the edge there. Uh, take the rope with me. Right, yeah, so I came over here. Came in from in there. Now, is he guarding a door? That's a question I'm just curious to know. No, it's just the fake door he's guarding. Alright, back through our. whatever passageway this was. Oh, that's right, a little uh, thieves hideout. And uh, quietly onto the streets here. There's more guards down here. So there's one of our ways into the embassy, is via that door. <laughs> and... Oh no, I knocked out, I got rid of both the guards here, that's right. They, they came after me and I had to knock them out. But <laughs> ouch, sleeping down here. Uh, I hurt. Garrett, should be better at climbing than that. I've got two health potions, let's use one. So before we go for the embassy... Sorry, one of those was a guard who was just standing there. Uh, guard who nothing that I care about. It was the archer that was patrolling this corner. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go in that, in through that window when I actually go to the embassy. It seems the easiest way in. There's nobody there. No. Hello? Anyone there? Alright, there is another guard that patrols this street. So we need to be careful. <clears throat> That's right, I've been here before. There's the wooden beam. Oh, and the window there I didn't go into. Right, well. Let's. Let's fix that problem. Is that guard friend coming? Nope. Guard friend there will see us. Maybe. Probably not. Let's see what we got in here. Nice carpet and some bread. And valuable plate. What's this? the guard that I was uh, worried about coming Oh, a note. What does it say? Dear Lady de Ravencourt, I have received your letter and I'm glad you have finally accepted my invitation. You will see that I have the most incredible collection of headdresses and ancient masks you have ever seen, and one of my associates will bring me more of them later. I also had news about a knave that assaulted you. I hope you are fine, and I most eagerly await your arrival in my humble house. Yours, Bram Gervasius. Well... It's a familiar name from uh, Thief 2. We break into his house twice to steal all his stuff. Nothing. You didn't hear that. That's what I was supposed to do, wasn't it? Trying to. Right, where are 
I wasn't intending to attack the sofa and get everybody all right up. All right, but that's what happened. Just gonna have to wait till they calm down now. That's silly. There's nothing. What are you worrying about? Oh, it sounds like they've given up search. <sighs> what am I going to do about this arrow? I don't leave it. Particularly. Oh, that does seem high enough to hurt myself. Ouch, certainly was. Probably not worth uh, taking that amount of damage just to keep the arrow. Alright, so I've been here before. I'm sure there isn't really any other better place to get by this guy. Let's use my other healing potion now, I guess. Had two more repairs, I should have just left it. Oh well. Healing a lot anyway. Got some bread here too, somewhere. Where is my bread? That yeah, didn't help. Here he comes. Just walk on right by. Don't mind me. <sighs> Gotta stop jumping. Nothing. Yeah, it's a very good plan. You just carry on down there. Right, I picked that door. Right, so it's out here, it's over there I wanted to get to. That's my dark spot. I wanted to get up there, but how do I get up there? I don't think I found. Oh, there's crates. I see, I see some crates over there. I guess I'm gonna stack some crates. Yeah. Like here, there's a window up there, and I'm not sure how to get to that. I guess that's another problem for another time. I really should, if I'm gonna be stacking crates, I really should try, should try and uh, knock out this guard here that's patrolling around, shouldn't I? Just to save myself the time and trouble. This, this one here. Oh, does he come this way? What's he doing? Where's he going? Maybe, I know there's another guy that patrols out that way, but maybe this guy doesn't actually come out here. Maybe I'm just misremembering his patrol route. So I think he's going back to where I started, to the uh, corner in the southwest. And I guess he just goes back down the alley. Stop being so noisy. Watching and waiting is always the slowest part of thief. And if I'm trying to play sneakily, as I am today, it's important. Yeah, alright, he doesn't come out this way at all, so I guess I can leave him alone while I do my box stacking. Three crates did. Perfect. I don't even need to get clever with the stacking, which is good, because I'm not very good at the clever stacking. There, and let's grab the last one while the guard is not nearby. Because he does, on his patrol route will take him to see out this way, but. Perfect, alright, so far so good. Still doesn't help me with that window. But, we have a door we can break into. Oh, better yet, we have some more water arrows. Let's pick this lock. I like that I have to get stacks and boxes to get here. It's um, it's not really very common that missions make you stack boxes, but um, again, it's not for an objective. It's just for the if you're exploring to find all the loot. Wow, he's really noisy. If he can hear, if I can hear him, he can probably hear me. So I still need to creep. 
I'm having to do unusual things like uh, stack boxes and uh, search for odd corners or whatever when dealing with optional objectives is great. When it's the primary objectives of the missions, I'm less keen on it. So it usually just means it takes a long time uh, just to achieve them. Now, how do I get out? I can't seem to climb on top of these trees. The wall is still too high. But I guess that's wood. It wouldn't help me getting in. It does help me get out. In theory. There we are. Now, how do I get up there? Any ideas? That's way too high for me to jump. Uh, I really... Unless... Unless I get in around the other side of the building, make my way through, I don't think I can even get on this roof, right? Don't think I've got bollocks. I shouldn't have done that, should I? That's silly. Right, back on the rope, back on the wall, take the rope. I guess I need to go back, like the box stacking isn't going to help me there either. There's some shutters there. I don't think they're gonna get me anywhere. No, they don't open. So where's our guard friend? Oh, he's coming back. Oh, he's just gone there. I'm gonna scout briefly around here. Ah, oh, Hightown Manor is there. It's definitely not the other side of here, right? Well, maybe there's another window here I can get in. I'll have a look. I'll just have a look down here, and then I'll have another look on this side. But if I can't find anything, I will just give up on that manor and head for the Hammer's Priory uh, to briefly see if there's anything in the Priory that I can... any way to get in and steal stuff. When I'm done with the Priory, we'll head north to the northwest corner and make our way into the Embassy. I feel the same way, dude. Right, there's no way out of there. Oh, wait. There's uh, rafters I hadn't seen. Um, and I'm, maybe there's a passage there. Let's, let's check that out. What do you know? What do you know? Alright, I think we found the answer I was looking for. Moss, nice. <laughs> what was that noise? Ha <laughs> ha! So, firstly, it's some. It's not a guard wandering around. He might see us here. You know, we were given a moss error, might as well use one. man in uh, High Tower Manor. You didn't have a person no. I'm going to rob you of all your goods. Alright, this is indeed the window I couldn't reach. Uh, so it was good to, tell, to let me know there was a place here, but um, that was not the way in. And that door doesn't open either, so it's not the way out. I think that's everything from here. Kind of a waste of the uh, arrow, to be honest. He wasn't armed, so I could have just uh, gone and, you know, just got in his way. Right, let's go back down. Oh, this plant's going to be in that way, isn't it? That's right, we can throw it. I can just drop it there, right? No. Oh, well, this fellow who lives here is going to wonder why he has a potted plant on his rafters. And he will never know. Alright, where's our guard friend? Read that. Complaint. Butcher Higgins, the stench of the filth coming from your very shop are most foul and unbearable. Hightown is no place like Lamphire Hills nor Lower Lots, and I greatly advise you to do something about it. 
Otherwise, I'll contact my acquaintances in the highest spheres of the nobility and have you arrested and hanged by the feet in the street. My most exquisite nose is extremely sensitive, and having to inhale the horrendous stink coming from your shop is more than I can take. You have until next week to fix this issue, and you won't be able to say you weren't warned. Master Archibald Hightower. So, no, I had not read that. Alright. To the Priory, then. Uh, I knocked out the hammer who was guarding the front door, which doesn't open. But there's still a guard that comes from into this courtyard, if I remember correctly. So really... Or two. So really what I'm looking for is uh, any open windows up there that may, may provide me a means of ingress. So that it may... Um, Redistribute whatever wealth they might have. And he's going up that way, so let's run for the dark steps. I'm guessing the answer is no, there's nothing up here, because I've been here before. I've been in this area before, and. Oh, yeah, there's the window there, but I've been there. Alright. Let's go back then. I think that's everything, everything out on the streets here that I'm interested in. Yeah, nothing there. Alright. Where's our guard friend that likes to run around here? He's probably down the alley coming back this way. Oh no, he's there. Let's just go for it. He's not close enough to see me. There's no one. Nobody goes. Close enough to see me, but not close enough to be a problem. Embassy card. Ooh. Not just the embassy card. There's nobody there. Alright. We are free now to make our way into the embassy. And, uh, see what we can find. So this is looking at an awkward mantle here. So it's good that those guards are unconscious. I'm not here, I did it first try before, why can't I do it now? It's kind of ridiculous. Bollocks! Carrot, you've lost your skill. No. Jumping forever. Why don't I go find my friends, the boxers, and bring them with me? Seems clear enough now. You're not going to notice me here, are you? Tell me you're walking far away. Good. Well, that's a steep street there. Let's grab my friends, the crates. I'll need two of them, I think. Oops, that was a bit noisy then. Planned. Alright. Wait for the guard to come back. If I stack a couple of crates up there, I should be able to get up easily enough. Don't know quite why I can't make that jump anymore. I was like missing it by quite a lot rather than just by a tiny bit. Just kind of odd. Too uptight. It's all like coffee. Yeah. Hello? 
What is the other guy doing? I forgot about him. Alright. We have our boxes. Without trouble. God, those electric hangers, they need to turn the volume of that sound down a bit. They're in insanely loud. Alright, use on top of that box. Uh, yeah, box stacking of people is fun. Primitive physics, alright, that'll do. Come on, get up on there. Get up. Alright. He won't mantle it anymore. Why not? Right. There we go. Nope. There we are. No, 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 no. This is weird. Maybe, maybe it's actually not supposed to mount to be able to mount unless it's, it's pretty steep. That only seems to work at a particular point. Well, instead of mantling that, how about I try mantling the lamp? Might work better. I do think a stack of boxes here, but I think that's too high. Let's, let's try the lamp. Yep, that lamp's not solid. How silly of me. Well... I do feel... I do feel foolish now, don't I? Um... Boxes are here. I just jump up there and then across the street. Sure, there must be an easy way to get up here that I'm missing. Um, but uh, my original way up doesn't seem to be working. For whatever reason. Get up there, go. Alright. Uh, oh, oh. Stay up there. No, that's too high, isn't it? Well. Donation. All right. I know I can do this, but uh, maybe just try this one because it's flat and it'll be easier to get on the boxes. On the ground, it's flat. I'm missing something. I'm missing something here. Some easier way to do what I'm trying to do. I'm not even on top of the second box there. All right, get on, get on the boxes. Thank you. Oh, it's higher though. Can't reach it. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me get back to this window. See if there's a chance of jumping from that. I think it's a bit too high. I'm probably too far. There's nothing in there, was there? No, it's just empty room. Do you think I can make that jump? Across there, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Let's not try. <coughs> Ouch. Uh oh. Wait, can I just stick a rope over in there? Back with plan A. I, I mantled up there once. I can mantle up there again. Even if it feels like it's not the correct approach. Yeah. Alright. Here we are. Time for a big save. Finally. Inside at last. Why not fight? Alright, can crouch. Get up there. Alright, this is the embassy. So. I didn't hear any guards over on this side. I don't think I've got a map of the inside of the embassy either now, so we're gonna have to just play this right here. Try and keep our bearings. I'm gonna leave that door open so I have a quick escape if I need it. There's lots of statues, lots of tile floors. There's a whole of statues, right? Don't even have anything. Apparently not. 
Right. And I did say the patrols inside the embassy would be doubled. That's the note that we found down in the basement. But, you know, maybe maybe there was no guards and they just doubled that and twice no guards is still no guards. Alright, well there's one. He's a long way away. He's coming this way. Let's just observe. Oh, there's two, in fact. That's a double patrol, alright. They might actually be coming this way. I might want to prepare for an exit. So they might want to stand in the darkness. I can hear them. And maybe hear if they're coming closer. Does sound like they're coming closer. They might just have a really long patrol path, and that's why I thought there were no guards coming down this hallway. Yeah, they're coming here. They're not, he's not going to come into this room though, right? He's going to come down the hallway. I'm, I'm in uh, Ship Creek otherwise. Don't come this way. <laughs> Mind your own business. There's a door open, but it doesn't matter. Honestly, I should probably try and knock him out to uh, save myself the trouble. Uh, Really long patrol route is the worst kind of thing to deal with because Ooh, you never hear something. <sighs> Nothing. Don't see anything now. Really long, really long patrol routes are a pain because you never really know where they are on their route, and uh, it's easy to be moving about and run into them by accident. But I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, I should stay back there if I wanted to knock them out. Well, I know they're on a long patrol, so I can follow them carefully down the hallway. Try not to make too much noise. And honestly, you know, according to the mission set up, I don't want to be seen. Is there another one there? I don't know, he's going back. I don't want to be seen because we don't we don't want them to know who stole their uh, stuff, right? Dear Antonius, the war with Blackbrook is coming to an end. Tomorrow the City Council will receive Duke Whitehall of Blackbrook for peace negotiations, and I'm sure that we will come to an agreement. My heart is beating so fast, we will finally be able to live our love together, my dear. No more hiding, no more letters. I eagerly await the meeting tomorrow. It will be fantastic. Yours always, Countess Maria D'Alessio. Well, Countess Maria, are you going to be disappointed? As a... Oops. Nobody heard me right. Are they coming back again? Oh, that's a... Not a guard coming back. Someone else. Oh, but there's a guard. Dear, oh dear, this place is busy. So, uh... That's the front door, isn't it? No, we're up on the upper floor, so... Are you coming here, guard? If you're coming here, I'm gonna have to knock you out. I don't really have much choice in the matter. I better hope no other guy comes from the corner. But you're going there. Where, where am I going? Lucky it's empty. Because... Otherwise I had nowhere to hide. I hope nobody comes in here, because I certainly have nowhere to hide in here. Anything else? No, just that. Hmm. There's far too many lights in this place and far too many guards. I don't like it. I just don't know my way around. I don't know where the guard's going. I've got a few more arrows. I might put them around the fountain there so I can get from carpet to carpet without making noise, but... Uh, Bit late now. Is there actually a spot of darkness in this doorway? No. Right, there's darkness here. 
All right. So, maybe... Oh, it's locked. Okay. I don't have any keys, do I? Okay, I look like bloody tile. Right, those guys went off that way. There's no one that patrols this way. I don't actually have an objective. Oh dear, be careful, guy. Okay. It's noisy. Here's the other one. And, oh no, there's the page. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna wait here and hope the guards also fail to spot me. I should have gone into the room. Too late. I don't see why I should have to perform down here in the cold and the dark and the damp. It's not that cold, <laughs> I'm not that dark and not really that damp. It's not. We're gonna go down the corridor, but then we're gonna go past the fountain again. So if I wait for them to go all the way past, who's that? That's the fella coming the other way. Just my luck. <coughs> right, who's these? None of them are carrying keys, are they? Because one of the guards has the only key. <laughs> No, that's don't spot me. That was close. They did it. They would get. They just would have to get knocked out of that patrol route right in front of me. All right. I don't see why I have to. I think I can do this. All right, he goes to the room. <laughs> Annoying. So I'm gonna put you down here in dark corner. Actually, probably in this room is fine because I don't think the other cat's coming here. Oh, well, they might. I don't know for sure. So maybe actually in the dark corner is the better option. Since there's dark corners. All right, feeling a little safer. Did close that door, good. Take some loot. Just just the bag of ones, thanks. So, definitely feeling a little safer. Right, now we've got those two other guards patrolling on the long patrol. And I think now. I do know what the patrol route is, but I need to get through the door that the civilian kept going in and out of. So I think we're going to wait here and try and just knock out these two guards as they come back. Just for my own peace of mind, it seems the simplest way to deal with the problem. Let's knock them on the head. Good thing I didn't leave the guard in that room, huh? Now, do they have a key? I'm not gonna shoot them, I'm just trying to zoom in here. They don't. They didn't even shut the door behind them! You lazy scumbag! Alright, here come the guards. I don't know how far down the hallway they come, I hope they don't come far enough that I have to hit them in the face, because that means the second one will almost certainly see the first ones body and there'll be a bit of a ruckus. So turn around just in front of me please. <coughs> no. Might have to prepare my flash bomb. Nope. Oh good. Alright. You 
can all go sit in the same little corner there. All oh, right, much safer for now. Yeah, that's brilliant. Well, that's all. And of course, the civilian is patrolling the room I want to go to. Uh, although, I also want to go through that door. Oh no, be through that door. Just hearing a faint noise, uh, like something in the distance, realize it's the siren outside my window. Come on, Mr. Civilian. It's not enough hiding places. If there's more dark patches in the room, I'd just go stand in that room, but it's just too bright. Let's just steal the stuff, yeah. And of course, lots, lots of loot. Well, they're taking their time going back. Maybe I should just go for it. Anything in the fountain? Nope. Noise. That's nothing. the last time I jump for rats. Good. Um, 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 um. Oh dear, here's someone's coming. Here's our civilian <laughs> friend. Oh, that's right, I'll just knock him on the head. Just for simplicity's sake. <laughs> Somebody else around. Take the loot. Alright, they don't come up here. I think there's everybody who comes up to this upper floor. What's my plan of attack here? That's the front doors. Um, oh, banners. Really ought to die, but I'm not sure I can reach them. I guess there's a door below me as well, judging by the carpets. How am I going to do this? Letting noisy floors everywhere. Is there a couple of stairs? Oh, the stairs are quiet. That's nice. Come on. Oh, hey, Banner. I'm not really expecting anything to be hidden behind them, but you never know. I can't reach that one without a ripper. Uh, guard. I'm not very hidden. I don't know if they come in this room. Seems peaceful enough now. As they say. I'll worry about the banners later. Definitely hear their footsteps quite loud. Hmm, I should just go. Oh, nope, there's somebody coming in here. Where do they go? Huh. Something there. No. Oh well. I was going nothing. Cross to the left. I wonder if they're circling around because. Pretty sure a guard went out that door before, but I haven't noticed any come in. Alright. Yeah, sometimes being a little patient pays off. Footsteps <clears throat> dying away. Rats. All these tile floors are just too much. If it was just stone floors, yeah, I'd happily sneak around these guys, but just tile floors, no, nah, it's not worth the trouble. Alright, let's leave that door open. I'll go over here if anybody is coming through there. Back 
this way? No? Maybe they're standing still and... Oh, they're walking up the carpet. Definitely getting closer. Just going further away again. God. Hmm. Oh well. What's that? Yeah, there's that that Sorry bench. I made a fuss. Oh god. Where's my dark corner? Dark spot. Please. Please. Okay, where's my new flash bomb? See me, they're suspicious. But we got a key there, which we need. It is Whitehall's guest room. And the guest room is where. Oh, they're coming now. Well, the guest room is where Lady. The Ravencourt was staying, I think, or someone. I don't know, maybe the guest room is where the staff is. Alright, they've, they've given up the search. Good. Great. I think that's the only guards that were patrolling this way. Yeah, misjudged that very well, guy. Okay. Ouch. Alright, I don't think there's any more guards, let's just oh! deal with them. What? <clears throat> I didn't mean to actually injure them there. Oh, give me a give me a give me a loot. Where's your loot? You've got loot. Got loot and I need it. Oh, wait, let me highlight it. There. Oh. Hold on, because I had it for a second. There we go. Right, is this a nice dark corner? This is a nice dark corner. You just sleep there. What do we have? Loot and some scrolls. Look up, pick up. Okay. We have a library. And again, you know, the law of libraries means there's got to be a secret passage here. Anyway, what's to say? Observations from the city, volume 36. They came from the east and settled in the outskirts of the city to practice their arts of elemental magic. The Hand Brotherhood is a mysterious group of elementalist mages that arrived decades ago and are now an established figure in the city. No one knows where they are from exactly, but the merchants and sailors always tell commoners incredible and fabulous stories about their origins and their purpose in our noble and ancient city. Yeah, just some... Uh, Tourist brochures by the sound of it. Okay. Whoa! Bloody hell. I thought all the guards don't were done. Good, he's given up. Whew, that was a close call. Rather too close for comfort. Just listening now to see if I can hear his footsteps. Can't hear anything. Hmm. I'm out of flash bombs, so uh, I do have to be careful. Doesn't appear to be coming this way. Is he just stuck? Maybe he's stuck. He's suddenly blind. Oh, he's just patrolling up and down this little hallway. 
So I just happened to see him both times when he was almost here. Alright, I'll wait till he turns around. I'll creep up behind him and give him the old whop. He's very soft footed. Quiet, Garrett, quiet. Yeah. There we are. Maybe a jack blackjack for the stats, I hope. Well, I don't remember if uh, Thief Gold counts anymore, if it's only Thief 2. Alright, dark corner of the library. That'll do. Alright, now I think that's all the. Uh, guards wandering the corridors. We have a couple of rooms off these corridors that still are occupied. That one seems to be empty. I'm still going to be a little cautious, but uh, I should be a little more free than I was before. A little bit. To um, run around and make a bit of noise. 2680. Oh, we've, we've hit our loot target already. And I didn't even notice. Okay. Now, let me just test this jump, right? That's where I should have jumped. Right. Lots of valuable, and we're back at the main hall. Right, so we have a kitchen. Yep, misjudged. Like a kitcheny place here. Which is somebody wandering around. I think that's the person who runs down to the basement that I saw when I was down there. Yeah. I'll happily eat all your food. Down in the dark corner. And for completion's sake, you know, if everybody's knocked out, if everyone's unconscious, nobody will know who to blame. They'll think that the person who stole it knocked themselves unconscious to deflect blame, and then they'll have no idea who stole the stuff. Anything in your sink? Oh, alright. I think that's everything from this floor of the embassy. So we go back, up the stairs, making as much record as we want now. Well, actually, important business, before we finish our main objective, if, the, if they don't uh, get upset over the staff, they'll surely get upset over all the banners being uh, chopped down. Yeah, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> can't use your sword when you're on a rope arrow unless you swing beforehand and you can only hold the swing for so long so you have to climb quickly it's pretty good at climbing one-handed though this guy all right and one more about that this one I can reach great as I said if they're not uh, don't declare war over the loss of the staff they're definitely going to do it over the loss of those banners. Now, did I check out this room? I did. Did I check out everything here? That's the room. That's the way I came in. So it's merely this room over here. Oops. A guest room, and now I have the key. Wonder what I'm going to use the mine for. Nothing, I guess. What? Oh, wrong key. Let's try that one. Key to the storeroom is not the right one. What's the note say? Letter to Dietrich. Dear Dietrich, I have arrived safely in the city, and I must say the embassy in which I currently am is wonderful. You should be here to see this. I know our cities are at war, and even if I never liked the Baron nor his city's castle, I think I've had enough of this war that's putting our two cities on their knees. Just take a look at Cyric and Bone and see their shape. I don't want to see Blackbrook in such a state. I brought my jeweled staff with me, as always, and put it in the embassy safe. It is protected by the embassy guard, and the captain is a tough man. Surely no one will attempt anything against it. 
I am confident for the meeting with the city council tomorrow, and will keep you updated. In the meantime, I will go to the city opera house tonight, since the most respectable Lord Reputo kindly invited me, and you know I can't refuse such an invitation. I haven't set foot in an opera house for ages. I need some distraction, and the travel was rough anyway. And of course, my personal guard is with me. This war will be over soon, my friend. Whitehall. That's locked. Wait, he said the staff was in the embassy safe. Uh, which suggests it's not here in the guest room, because why would the embassy's safe be in the guest room? And the vault key? So where's the vault? Dear Duke Whitehall of Blackbrook, welcome to the city. I know that there are tensions between our two cities, and I am saddened to see that. I always thought this war was pointless, but nobody ever listens. I would like to show you my friendship by inviting you to the Old Quarter Opera House. I am sure you will love this magnificent piece of art, and appreciate the majestic Lady Valerius, owner of the building. Rest assured that I do not want to force you in any way, and if you refuse, I won't be upset. I hope our friendship will be true if you accept my invitation, Lord Raputo. Uh, right, so I am missing something pretty important, and that is... Embassy's safe, the vault. Oh, and this bit of loot, even, even more important. Um, where is the vault? Not in that room, but I've just down here, I've been there. Huh. I've seen no signs of a, anything resembling a vault or a safe, and I'm, yeah, I might have missed it. I didn't think I had. I did I go down this side of the stairs? Any loot on the table? No. Because mm. I had thought maybe that, maybe here, you know, but this isn't. There was a doorway here. It was just another bloody statue. There's just so many statues. Where is the embassy's vault? Surely not in the in the kitchen, right? That would be ridiculous. Um, not in this room. That's solid. Unless there's a secret door to it to what I'm missing or something, I don't know. Is it hidden in the library? I've seen no sign of anything that looks suspicious in terms of the colours of the textures or anything. And there's pillars where I might suspect a vault to be hidden. Um, let's double check the basement because I haven't explored the actual basement proper. Only the kitchen. And it did look about briefly in here. Ah, this will be it. This will be it. Yes. Sir? Was that you? Alright, turn down for now. Do you, oh, have a, well. do you ever turn around, sir? I hope so. <laughs> Hello? Oh, okay, two of them. Right, so it actually didn't need to get into the guest bedroom. Although, obviously, there's money there, so that's useful. Where's the Volky? Come on, come on. Volky! No? Okay, I just picked this then. Yes, alright. So the Volky was just for the door out there, okay. I wasn't expecting a guard to be standing here, but I guess that makes sense. There was a guard that said he had the only key to it, and that kind of made sense that he's the one guarding it, because he's the only one who can get in and out. And here we have it. Duke Whitehall staff. Right, that's all our objectives done. We just need to get back out of the uh, embassy now. Where everybody's sleeping. And I guess the sewers are going to be the quickest way to get back out. Do we have to get out anywhere in particular? Yeah, back the way we came. Alright, so... This is a good way to get there. Now there are more guards on the street down here. Didn't really want any, uh, you know, guards around to witness my wrongdoing. Uh, he's not going to bother me. He was around. Is one that comes this way. Did that shadow move? No. Oh, right. oh, 
Yeah, he's over. Yeah. He's gonna come over here and search, and I don't like that. I distract him. I can, perhaps. Come out here, I dare you. But I need to get past him. Because I need to go to the southwest corner. Actually, I need to go that way. Right? Yeah, I came out here, so I need to go southwest. Alright, I can't see which way he's looking. Well, definitely he's looking the way I want to go right now. Oh, he's giving up now. So I should be right here. He's gonna go through that way. As soon as he's past me, I can make a break for it. Here we go. Now we're back here in this familiar corner. And we need to get where that guard is right now. So I'm gonna have to wait for him to come back. Here he comes. Almost on free. <sighs> Hurry up. Stop moaning. Just be glad I didn't hit you on the head. If you have a headache tomorrow morning, it'll just be from your drinking. Okay. Uh, metal bridge, which we don't want to jump over. And, uh... Where did we start here? Yes. Alright, we robbed the embassy, we stole the Whitehall staff and a whole pile of loot and a Pentagon book. We found... well, we missed a thousand loot, basically. Where? That's quite impressive. I guess we only picked three out of seven pockets. Possibly we missed a couple, a couple of hundred loot in people's pockets. I don't know, but that's uh, another thousand, almost, uh, lying around. Uh, I have no idea where I missed that. All right, backstab zero. Knock has twenty-five. I don't think I knocked that many out. I guess that's the stats. One while airborne. Yes, I got the stat. Uh, others killed. That's the stat. That's the spider. Great. Uh, so that's a mission success. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you here for the next fan mission.